Right, due to solve for x, and uh, we are given the quadratic inequality, 3x squared minus 11x plus 8 is less equal to 0. And now what we do is we have a 3x squared. 3x squared minus 11x plus 8 is less or equal to 0. 3x squared by 8, or 3x squared times 8, is 24x squared. We look for two numbers whose product is 24x squared, but whose sum is minus 11x, and those are minus 3x minus 8x plus 8. Less or equal to zero. Right, highest common factor here would be 3x, leaving us with x minus 1. Minus 8 into x minus 1 is this equal to zero. We have x minus 1 into 3x minus 8 is less or equal to 0. Next, we look for things we call the critical values. What are the critical values? Right, so the critical values are as follows. Is x equals 1 x equals 8 out of 3. Right, and we plot them on the number line and we draw a horizontal line like so. And this horizontal line is of x values. We position the two critical values on the um, number line like so, having 8 out of 3 here. But obviously 8 thirds it's exactly the same as two and two thirds. Right, upon further examination, we put some dashed uh, lines uh, like so here. And uh, we put the linear factors here. X minus one. You have the other linear factor, three X minus eight. At the bottom of this, we put the product x minus 1, which appears here, and the other one, 3x minus 8. To the left of 1, any number smaller than 1, like 0. Put 0 here, 0 minus 1 is minus. Put 0 here, 3 times 0 minus 8 is minus. Then when you multiply the 2, you get a plus. Between 1 and Two thirds, it can take any arbitrary number like two, two minus one is a one plus three times two, it's exactly six minus eight, it's a negative. Right, you multiply them now, and when you multiply the two, what do you get? Right, you get um, exactly a negative here. Right, any number bigger than 2, maybe a 10. Uh, 10 minus 1 is a 9 positive. Um, 3 by 10 minus 8 is 30 minus 8, uh, surely a positive result. And if you multiply, uh, you have a plus there. So we are looking for parts where this product is actually negative. Negative be actually um, lies between 1 and 8. Thirds, hence we have the solution. What is the solution? So the solution at this point uh, is uh, that uh, we have an x that lies between um, one and eight out of three, like so, and so this is the result. And this is the answer to the question. Uh, thanks everybody, goodbye to you.